I promise y'all I'm gonna put some makeup on next time. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Danny DeVille here. Thanks for joining for part two of making a traditional Trini sea moss drink vegan. So without dairy and you know any other animal products. The traditional sea moss drink is made with condensed milk, cinnamon, and sometimes people add nutmeg and other things like that. Uh, but today we're not using condensed milk and I'm gonna just show you my favorite milk to use with it, but please feel free, you can use oat milk, almond milk, walnut milk, hazelnut milk. You can barbecue it, boil it, brawl it, bake it, saute it. So, let's begin. First, I'm gonna just show you a little bit about just the process of making Brazil nut milk. It's super easy. I didn't even filter it for this because it's gonna go right back in the blender. And yeah, I hope you all enjoy. Let's get to it. So I filled a bowl, a glass bowl with Brazil nuts and then filled it all the way up with water so that it can soak. That way I'll be able to extract more milk out of the nuts when I juice them. I'm so excited. This is my favorite milk. <laughs> so it's morning and the Brazil nuts have been soaking for about 12 hours or so. And I'm just going to go ahead and juice them. Uh, usually I use the larger uh, filter for juicing, which has larger holes for things like the seeded fruits, such as kiwi and such. But I'm going to try the smaller ones so that it can filter more uh, juice through. I usually run this pulp through twice, or once, I mean, and then I'll use the rest to make cheese. Let me know if you want to see the video on how I use this pulp here to make some really yummy cheese. So because I'm using this Brazil nut milk mainly for smoothies, I'm not going to um, filter it with a nut milk bag. I'm just going to use it as is, and I'm just going to season it. <laughs> with a little maple syrup, a little vanilla extract, some cinnamon, and some sea salt. A pinch of cinnamon. That was a hefty pinch. <laughs> just a touch of vanilla extract. Just a bit of maple syrup to taste, depending on how sweet or not sweet, you'd like your Brazil nut milk. And you can just stir it up so that everything's well blended. If you have an immersion blender, I recommend that too. Or put it in your bottle that you're gonna store it in and just shake it up. So all of that got us about two and a third cups of Brazil nut milk. And since I'm gonna make smoothies not just for me, I'm gonna use all of it. But you can always just use one cup of Brazil nut milk, one cup of sea moss uh, gel, and then continue to blend with any fruits and vegetables if you want to add even more nutrients there. So along with the homemade Brazil nut milk I just made and the sea moss gel from the video from last week, this is what else I will be adding to the sea moss drink. So there's some fresh cinnamon, nutmeg, I'm gonna use ground cloves. Um, you can use whole cloves if you'd like. I just like the, um, the texture better. Some agave or maple syrup if you want. Uh, maca powder and a little ashwagandha. So you can go on ahead and add all of the Brazil nut milk to the blender. And I'm adding an equal amount gel. My gel didn't solidify yet, so that's why it's a little liquidy. Looks good so far. Now we just need to season it. Fresh nutmeg is my jam. I like to just kind of microplane it in. You can use ground nutmeg, that's fine, but I find that you really get that flavor when it's fresh. Then just like a pinch of cinnamon, a little bit of ground clove. Mmm, smells so good, fragrant. I'm gonna do half a teaspoon of ashwagandha. 
I don't want to overpower the flavor. I'm going to do one teaspoon of maca powder. And that's just adding more health benefits to this Emos drink that's not something that's usually added. Just a little bit of vanilla extract. Mm, it's already starting to smell good. Uh, and some agave nectar. You can also use maple syrup. And this is really to replace, in the traditional Trini uh, moss drink, it is condensed milk, so you don't really need to add a lot of sweetener. But here, you know, we're not using the condensed milk and we're being dairy free. So we just wanna add a little bit of alkaline sweetener. But if you're a G and you wanna do it without the sweetener, please, by all means, do it what feels good to you. So I could add a frozen banana, some frozen avocado, some frozen mango in here to give it more of a smoothie consistency, but I really want it to be more like a drink, not a smoothie, you know? It's super creamy. It's not cold because I didn't add any ice or frozen fruit but you can drink it just as is or put it in the fridge, put some ice cubes in it if you wanna drink it cold right away and get your nutrients on. Happy sea mossing. Okay, by the way, I love sea moss regardless, like in any form. Right now mine is like kind of room temp. You can drink it room temperature, you can drink it hot, um, you can even drink it iced cold. Shrimp Creole, shrimp gumbo, pan fried, deep fried, stir fried. It's still tasty. Um, the one thing I will say is that a lot of people have been hitting me up about, you know, boiling their sea moss. And I used to do it back in the day. That's how, like, my family did it at first. But honestly, to get all of the nutrients, you want to use as, le as little heat as possible. So that's why I just enjoy the soaking and then the blending, and it still gets rid of the fresh sea smell or taste just fine. Cause this tastes just fine. So I've already had some cause I couldn't wait. <laughs> it's so bomb y'all. You know, feel free to add your sea moss into other smoothies. I'll show you a really great like golden milk smoothie bowl with sea moss that is gonna be so good. I can't wait, I almost made it today. <laughs> but I was like, nah, let me get to part two. I went downstairs and gave some to my neighbor. But yeah, let me know what else you'd like to see. You wanna see more smoothies? I got some good granola recipes to make the granola to go on top of my smoothie bowls. And again, I don't know if you guys know, but I was also a makeup artist for 10 years. So I'm gonna start getting into skincare and makeup and all of that fun stuff too. So comment below with any other content you'd like to see. Thanks for joining me. Now I gotta go work out.